All right, everyone, so today we're gonna be doing some part swapping. We're gonna be taking the bumper off the LB7 here, putting it on the back of the LBZ so I have a good bumper. The steel bumper, I want to run on the LB7, that's why we're not putting it back on this truck. And per the video description, we're gonna be adding a Hopkins seven pin and four pin trailer harness plug, or a trailering plug, I don't know what you would call it right now, to the back of this bumper right here. So if you see here, we have two 18 millimeter bolts right here, and on the inside, you have one more 18 millimeter bolt. And then here is what that rear bumper bracket looks like. So I apologize, I wanted to zoom out uh, for this side and I accidentally didn't zoom out for you when I did this side. Um, but these front, this weird plate here with the studs, this, these two front bolts or rear bolts you could say are 18 millimeters. And then there's one, that one bolt that's in the back that is a 15 millimeter. I do apologize it was, I mis was mistaken, was misspoken on that, um, but then when you have a factory bumper, my bumper doesn't have it. When you have a factory, not bumper, when you have a factory receiver, um, it has bolts that bolt up through the factory receiver. I don't like those because it pulls down on the bumpers. So we're getting rid of that. There are just two bolts right underneath here and this is gonna be a 21 millimeter. Hopefully we can get in here with my big old half inch impact. Um, I might need an extension to get past the receiver. Ah, yeah, extension time. Let's, get, let's just get extreme. It's for the half inch heavyweight impact rated extension. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. So we got our extension. Just whatever, go on, there we go. All right, extension time. <laughs> Pretty extreme. All right, 21 millimeter, let's get this bitch off. Woo! Whoop, 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 whoop. Boop, 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 boop. Nickelodeon. And yes, I'm aware, I should be wearing glasses. So now, we should be free. Let's see. Hmm. Should be light too. Should be pretty, pretty light. Huh. We're not free. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that, that for real? No way. My bumper wasn't like that. Seriously? My bumper, when I took it off, was not like this. At least I don't remember. I got two more freaking bolts that are a pain in the ass. I was a pain in the ass. There you go right there. I got an echo, because I'm next to the exhaust pipe. There you go right there. Those are those two 18 millimeter bolts. All right, so I got that last bolt out and my goodness, pain in the ass that was. I, I, my truck did not have that, I swear. Oh, it should be free. Yay, I'm free. I just got some, some plastic clippies here. That's how you know I'm fed up with this little, quick little project here is because I could just go get a screwdriver and get these off really quick. But I don't want to walk all the way to the garage. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and say the, the hot weather has gotten to me. I didn't need to take those stupid bolts off. I didn't need to take them off. I forgot. Oh, they're going to come off now. I'm just going to have to put them back on now. I'll show you guys in a little bit what I'm talking about. You'll see. If you've already done this before, you know what I'm talking about. It's been a while since I've taken a, a factory bumper off. And I, my genius self, forgot that, um, see look how easy that is with a screwdriver. Forgot that the factory bracket, the bumper, attaches through the bolts for the factory um, receiver. I'm an idiot. See? See, not everything goes perfectly smooth. Everything's perfect on YouTube. You know, and that's what you guys get with me. Some people may call me stupid. 
Some people may call, may tell me I don't know what I'm doing. But the truth of the matter is I'm just another one of you guys, hence DIY Diesel, trying to impact, make an impact on a community of people that may be um, hesitant to do jobs themselves. And when they see the perfect YouTube videos get accomplished, it isn't always the best thing. So when you see us mess up like this, It's pretty nice. By the way, this is a 21 millimeter. I'm so stupid. Oh my God. I can't believe that. I I really just cannot believe that I did this. Honestly. I, I honestly cannot believe that I did that. I truthfully can't believe that. That that's a mistake on my part. And, um, you know, it is what it is. I just, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe, I, I don't know if maybe if it's the, the, the heat and the humidity, you know, it gets to a guy after a while working outside. Um, maybe I need to take better breaks and take a look at things better instead of rushing into stuff. But that, it's a rookie mistake right here. Rookie mistake, I simply just didn't look at all the bolts. And um, prime example, you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead, put these back on the bumper and then, um, get the bumper on the truck, and then finally get that stupid um, seven pin thing on. That's what you guys have all basically been here for, so. All right, don't be like me and don't take these two bolts off. Don't do that, trust me. Tell you what though, if anybody knows anybody over at Bubbler, have them send me a message because uh, I could definitely go for a water sponsor. And these bubblers, these bubblers are freaking amazing. I've never been a fan of sparkling water until I had these bubblers, seriously. Best things. So now we can level it out. It's kind of hard to level out without the uh, truck bed on. So I think we're just gonna roll with this. Looks good to me. Tighten it all down, good and tight. Hey Dad. Beautiful. Now we can get to the task at hand. Shit. So I'll link this below for you guys. Um, it's got a seven pin here, and then it's got the uh, four pin. And all it does is it just connects to the back of your, your cable here. It just plugs in, just like that. It's really plug and play. The only hard part is where you want it. I'm gonna put it literally right here. Um, getting where you want it on your bumper uh, if you want to put it on the if you want to put like some people want to put it over here I've seen some people put it all the way over there um, I'm just gonna put it right here makes the most sense to me I don't know what size hole saw this is because if you see you have to go a little bit bigger um, on the hole size to get it really flush so I'm gonna cheat a little bit I have a hole punch get a knockout kit that I'm gonna use so I'm just gonna drill a half inch hole I'm gonna use a knockout kit to uh, the right correct size all right well I lied <laughs> Everything I'm doing today just seems to fail. So um, I don't have my knockout kit. I thought I had a knockout kit. I don't have it. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna run back to the store, take that with me, figure out what exact hole saw size that is, um, and then I'll let you guys know what exact hole saw size is. So there's there's that. It's a positive, I guess. So um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So we're back on a new day, you guys here, and um, basically we're on a new day because I didn't have my knockout kit that I thought I was going to have for the um, adding this trailer plug heart pl trailer uh, seven pin connector to the bumper that I want to do instead of having it below because these curt hitches um, obviously things have changed a little bit I added more to the truck to get this thing on the road ready to haul the camper um, I got the hitch on now and with these curt hitches it doesn't you can get it the plate and mount it back down here but it's much nicer to mount this stuff up here and upgrading to the seven pin 
with the four pin connector on it is a huge upgrade. I do wanna let you guys know that you guys will be seeing this video twice for those that actually follow me a lot. Um, that is because I'm also going to post this video as just specifically how to install this into your bumper. Um, so that's why you're gonna kinda of see this video twice. It's, I appreciate everybody that watches my video all the way through, but you're gonna start seeing kind of duplicates of um, parts of one video posted multiple times throughout the week. Um, that's to gain more reach for the channel to get us to that subscriber amount that we truly want. Because being a smaller channel, it's kind of hard to get that reach that I'm looking for. So um, I kind of just have to keep posting as much as possible and able to reach more people as possible. The comments you guys do, the watching for long periods of time, the liking the videos, all that kind of stuff, sharing the, the channel and the videos, that's absolutely, oh, stay away from me. Um, it's hot out, so the bees are out like crazy right now, specifically to my garbage. But um, that stuff helps a lot, so let's finally get this started. First, we're basically going to simply go ahead and drill out our hole into our bumper. Make sure you don't have anything behind here, which you shouldn't. We're going to drill this in. This is a two and one eighth hole saw. This is a Milwaukee hole saw. I will also say I really like these style of hole saws with this almost like set screwed type of connector, uh, set screw type of nut on it. It makes it a lot easier taking these things off. So here you can see it's nice and flush now. Um, there's a little wiggle room in here, so you could probably do more like a, a two inch hole saw, but um, that's not really that big of a deal. So next I'm gonna drill out my two holes. What's really nice about this is if you see here, so um, my replacements are M580-30. That's my replacement. Um, hopefully it, it should be basically perfect, I would think here, um, but you can see here it fits really nice and perfectly in here as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drill our holes right now. I'm utilizing my Milwaukee drill. I'm starting with a 9 16 drill bit, and then I step up on the back side to a quarter inch drill bit, and able to give those M5 screws enough space to get through the quarter inch drill bit is also not too big for the M5 washers that we're utilizing. And then go ahead and I put the first two, I put the first top two on to line it up nice and straight, tighten them down, and I'm gonna drill out the bottom two. And then again, I drill out the back side um, because the connector is already on there. I don't wanna drill the black part. So we're gonna go ahead and drill the quarter inch on the back side, and then go ahead and put our screws in, tighten them down. Add dielectric grease to our connector. I personally use my own dielectric grease. I don't use what the typically is provided with anything. Um, put that on there, wipe it off, get it nice and clean, and then simply just go ahead and plug it in. Then of course, once you plug it in, you're gonna go ahead and wipe your hands off of the dielectric grease that you have on your hand um, because man, that stuff gets kind of nasty. But here you go, that's what it looks like in its place. I'm happy with these. I've had one of these before on my old bumper before I got it re-powder coated. It's really nice to have the four pin and the seven pin available and not have to run like a pigtail or anything like that. And this location is absolutely ideal. So here is the dielectric grease that I use at work and at home on an absolute daily basis. I do not use the pre-packaged stuff that people send. Also, I'm not sure how good the focus is for you guys, but I do want to point this out. I use a nylon lock nut. Instead of your typical nuts uh, with like a lock washer, I like to use nylon lock nuts, especially when you're dealing with a lot of vibrations on the road and stuff like that. And then also um, for the M5, it's gonna be an eight millimeter socket, just so you know. Of course, I'm rocking the Pittsburgh um, flex head ratcheting wrench. I'm actually getting a new one of these, um, a locking one specifically, and then snap on sockets. Again, I'm a really big fan of how this looks specifically and how it operates. Um, it's just an absolute perfect spot, you guys. It's way better than down here. I really like it, especially when you have those extra long uh, leads for your trailer lights and stuff like that. So it's really, really nice. 
Super simple to do. It's not even like a 30 minute project, maybe a 30 minute project if you had to take the old one off and you wanted to relocate it like this. Um, I highly suggest that I'll leave a link below for this. Again, I used stainless steel hardware. I highly suggest swapping the hardware out that it comes with it, going to your local hardware store and finding what fits. Again, I used M5.80 um, thread count with a 30, I think it's 30 millimeter length or 30 length is what I used. Um, I, I just got it from my local hardware store. That's, it's really that simple. So thank you for watching this. It's like I said, this is beyond simple and I highly suggest you guys doing it, especially those that deal with four pins a lot, bouncing between four pins and seven pins like I do myself. So I hope it just helped you a little bit. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel and share the channel as well as we wanna grow as quick as possible. We wanna to get to that 10,000 subscriber mark by the end of this year. So um, we've got a lot of big things coming here shortly. We're gonna be doing the rockers, cab corners, all that really quickly. I just got a brand new piece of equipment that I'm very excited about, my very first ever. Um, so, and I've never done it before, so it's gonna be interesting how this all works. So if you wanna see what I've got coming up here real shortly, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So um, thanks for watching. Oh, also, and um, again, like I said in the video, if you guys know anybody in the bubbler world, the canned seltzer water or whatever you call it, it's delicious. I'd highly suggest trying it. Um, really could use a water sponsor on the channel. Definitely could use it, whether it's winter or summer. I'm always sweating, I'm always hot, and I always need to stay hydrated. So yeah, just a little shout out for you guys if you know anybody.